Hello Libra, welcome to your love reading. We're gonna be looking at what's coming your way in love and basically what can you expect next and who you might be dealing with. As always, these readings are meant to be general so they will not resonate with every Libra watching. So take what resonates for you, what applies to you and leave the rest. So let's jump right in for Libra, spirit angels, guides. What do we need to know for Libra regarding love for Libra? What do we need to know, Spirit? What is coming Libra's way in love? What is coming Libra's way? Ace of Swords, Reverse, Ace of Pentacles, Five of Wands. Okay, some sort of conflict here. The lovers at the bottom of the deck, the overall energy, Gemini energy. So there's definitely something going on within a partnership. Um, there could be conflict or drama, some sort of argument, especially with the Ace of Swords reverse and the Five of Wands here. Um, actually, let's just put down the other cards. I'm just gonna do this. I'm gonna organize it a little bit. Okay, can we know a little bit about what can we expect next? Four of Swords reverse the world. The Queen of Swords reverse. There's something going on here with like communication or just someone's approach. You know, it's just not the best. The Queen of Swords tends to be, especially when they're reversed and the Ace of Swords reverse, it, it tends to be a almost like a vindictive energy, petty energy, deceptive energy you know it's like not the best person to talk to or fix problems with um but we'll see what this is about let me not jump to conclusions there might be some other reason why these energies are showing up because we have also the world and the ace of pentacles so some sort of opportunity here that could start something new the potential for something new in the midst of all this drama and conflict let me get some oracles as well. What's the overall energy for Libra in love? What's the overall energy for Libra in love? Overall energy for Libra. Transformation, metamorphosis, and renewal. What's the overall energy for Libra in love? I mean, that's definitely the world air sign gemini libra aquarius could be dealing with another air sign or this could be you going through some sort of transformation new beginnings also fell out so there yeah there's definitely something happening here in love transformative energy new energy new cycles changes new beginnings and I feel like it's kind of having to do with whatever is not really doing well right now. It's like something that whatever this five of wands represents, which will be different for all of you, but whatever this five of wands represents, I feel like what's happening is a change there. We'll see if I'm right about that because I am going to clarify these energies so we could get a little bit more insight here. Tell me more. Let's start with the lovers. The lovers here is like the overall energy. What can you tell me about the lovers? Why is the lovers here? The star, wow. Aquarius energy. The world at the bottom of the deck. So this is, this is something big, Libra. There's a new cycle happening here, or a cycle ending and a new one beginning regarding love, regarding a partnership. Let's see. Tell me more about the lovers. Tell me more about the lovers. King of Swords. This could be another air sign. It could be an important conversation, some sort of truth. Tell me more about the lovers. Seven of cups, options, choices, three of wands. Okay. 
something's happening here. I don't know exactly what it is just yet because I just started clarifying, but and I've only gone through one card, but I feel like there's a the shift is happening within okay i guess i should say the shift is happening when it comes to love generally just love whether you're single or in a commitment or have someone in mind whatever the case may be there's something changing there i feel like this is something you've waited for three of wands seven of cups like maybe you're waiting to see what options you might have or this opens the door to having many choices yeah page of cups i feel this is something coming in that's new let's see tell me about the seven of cups why is the seven of cups here page of cups again four of swords six of wands and the death card scorpio energy Hmm. Tell me about the King of Swords. Why is the King of Swords here? Two of Cups, Queen of Cups. Okay. I think someone's interested in you. I think this could be an apology to the, uh, the world. Okay. So let's see what else we can get here because I'm starting to see a story. This could be somebody wanting a new beginning with you once again or wanting to change whatever your current circumstance is within a partnership. They're wanting to change that, heal that perhaps, because clearly there's something going on here with the Five of Wands and the Ace of Swords reverse. Why is the Ace of Swords reverse? Why is the Ace of Swords reverse? Ten of Wands. Why is the Ace of Swords reverse? Nine of Wands. Okay, so I feel like, yeah, there's the lovers again. There's already an existing partnership. I think this is for a Libra that is already in some sort of a connection or has history with a particular person. It hasn't been easy. There's trust issues, lies, deception, or just arguments. Um, things that have been said that cannot be unsaid or taken back. Tell me about the five of wands. There could be multiple people involved or it's just, I'm picturing like, um, this could be a very public situation. So other people watching this go down. Tell me about the five of wands. Ace of cups, eight of wands. Can I get one more? For this five of wands i feel like someone wants to talk to you these two are two different things so yeah the tower and the lovers yeah okay so i'm getting i don't know this is i feel bad for whatever libra is in this situation because there's a lot of like back and forth energy here the tower and the lovers something happened in a connection i feel like there's still love at least maybe love between you still or emotions are just high you know eight of wands is here which tells me that there's a lot happening quickly like maybe things happen very fast i think that th something blew up in this connection tell me about the ace of swords reverse can i get one more why is the ace of swords reverse four of wands hmm i think whatever happened here someone with the knight of wands and the wheel of fortune i think someone sees an opportunity And that's what this Ace of Pentacles is doing here. What in the world happened? Something happened 
that was shocking, unexpected, a tower. This could also be someone trying to avoid a tower. Tell me about the Ace of Pentacles. What do we need to know, Spirit, about the Ace of Pentacles? Yeah, the Knight of Wands. Someone wants to come in. There's a Six of Swords. They could be traveling to see you, the Hierophant, Taurus energy, and then the Five of Wands again. I think someone wants to address this Five of Wands. I also get the sense that someone perhaps, I mean, I don't want to jump to conclusions. It could be that someone was not faithful in a commitment. This started off so well, but I don't think that this is going to be I just don't sense that this is okay so I don't want to jump there either I was gonna say I don't sense that this is a new beginning in love but now I'm thinking well who's to say that that's the case you might very well have a new beginning elsewhere somewhere new that's not outside of this but I also am getting this energy of someone that wants a new beginning and t wants to tell you they've changed that the circumstances have changed because I have the world here. But I also have the Queen of Swords reverse, which reminds me about this Ace of Swords reverse. So I'm almost getting like, is it more of the same? Tell me about this Queen of Swords reverse. Why is the Queen of Swords reverse? Nine of Pentacles. Why is the Queen of Swords reverse? Seven of Swords, King of Pentacles, Five of Wands, uh, Pentacles. What did I want to say? Five of Wands. Oh, the, and the Strength card, Leo Energy, and the Magician. Mm, this person is very motivated. Whoever this Queen of Swords reverse is, could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, a Leo. Could be just somebody that appears to be a King of Pentacles, but is really a Seven of Swords. So I think you need to be careful because I feel like this person has a goal in mind, some sort of intention. But I don't think it's the best intention because the Queen of Swords is reverse. Why is the Four of Swords reverse? This is typically a card um, when it's reversed, the Four of Swords is almost like someone waking up, taking action. Maybe they weren't communicating or taking action before, but they are now. Why is the Four of Swords reverse? nine of cups they have something they want yeah the world so they're taking some sort of action because they want a new beginning here tell me more about the four of swords reverse and i say they this could also be you wanting a new beginning libra take it as it resonates because i'm just trying to piece together what's going on here i'm almost like talking out loud to myself here <laughs> tell me about the four of swords reverse why is the four of swords reverse seven of wands fighting back facing the challenge, standing firm, being brave. This is somebody that is, I feel, trying all kinds of things. Six of Swords. I think this could be somebody that's coming in. Um, there's the world again. Okay, let's see what this world's about. Tell me about the world. And then I want to get some oracles to get more insight into this person that you are dealing with or will be dealing with. Tell me about the world. What's the world here? What's this world energy? Death, Scorpio energy, okay. Death shows up again. Tell me about the world. King of Pentacles, okay, one more for the world. Mm-hmm. I'm getting, I've changed energy. Tell me about the world. Yep. Eight of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles. This is literally someone like, I'm working on myself. I'm working to bring you something stable. I am a stable person. I am reliable. I am dependable. King of Pentacles energy. I want to give this person the benefit of the doubt, but unfortunately, this person is a Five of Pentacles. They're out in the cold right now, so... It makes sense they would want to be on their best behavior. And didn't this also show up in another reading for you, Libra? When was that? 
Yeah, February, you and them. Similar energy there. February also was somebody that screwed up with you. They're afraid to tell you how they feel and the how they feel reading in February. So I feel like this could be the same person. Check out the playlist for Libra if you want more insight into those other messages if this resonates. Because I feel this is a continuation of that. I feel something already ended with someone. Death. And they want to start over. A do-over. Starting again. But it's like... I'm different now. I'm working on things. I'm a king of pentacles. Can we get some insight into this person's energy? Can we get some insight, please, into this person's energy? The person that Libra is, has, or will be dealing with. What do we need to know about this other person? What do we need to know? about this other person what do we need to know about this other person what do we need to know i wasn't ready i still check up on you we need to talk i wasn't ready so libra okay i want to get one of these two hold on tell me more about this person that Libra is, has, or will be dealing with. What do we need to know about this person? What do we need to know about this person that Libra is dealing with? What do we need to know about this bad health? That's that five of pentacles. Toil and labor. Yeah, eight of pentacles energy here. This person is not doing well with whatever the situation is right now. I think there's some sort of, there's trouble in paradise. Five of wands, ace of swords, reverse. Someone could have even lied to you, deceived you, and it blew up in their face because now there's trust issues, baggage, and an otherwise stable connection or in a connection that at least on the outside looks good. Or they presented themselves as, oh, it's no big deal, everything's fine, but something was off with the Ace of Swords reverse. I think with the King of Swords up there with this lover's energy, I think that you found something out. Seven of Cups, the King of Swords... I think eventually something clicked for you, Libra, or you got some sort of information or a conversation kind of like made you see things differently. It's like a, sh it's like a, like a flashlight. I think someone cares about you a lot, Queen of Cups, Two of Cups, and maybe they want to apologize to you. And I, I get the sense that you don't really know what to make of this, perhaps, because of the way that they're approaching you. But make no mistake, this person, I feel they're not, they don't have access to you. They're not very close to you right now. Um, maybe because of what's happened. Because I do feel a tower happened in this connection. And I think someone wants to come in and kind of rescue or not rescue themselves, but almost like they want to come in and take care of the problem. You know, I can see them saying things like, I still love you. Um, this could happen during texts, you know, DMs or, or whatever. Quick communication. I think they want to offer you an Ace of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, um, because they don't want to lose you. But I get at the same time, the Seven of Swords and the Nine of Cups make me pause, especially with the Queen of Swords reverse. It's almost like... They are willing to tell you whatever it takes. They, they're on their best behavior or appearing to be a king of pentacles, but I wonder if that's true. I also get the sense that, you know, maybe they are um, genuine. Maybe they are a king of pentacles or showing up as a king of pen pentacles. Maybe they do mean what they say, but I think you don't trust them. I think it's too late in your mind or it's very difficult for you to take what they say at face value. And I feel like this person expects this because of the way things ended. I feel like they expect you to like fight back or resist them. This is the story that I've kind of pieced together here. And I think this person is, you know, I, I do feel like they have had some sort of loss or not doing well. Maybe they're depressed. Maybe they are just upset. 
you know, whatever the case may be, I think it's forcing them because to, to actually put an effort because they don't want to be this eight, uh, five of pentacles with you. They don't want to have drama with you or problems with you. They want a new beginning with you. They want to change this connection. And it's, it's almost like they want to change it for it to be like better than it was before, something like that. Tell me about this transformation energy. Tell me about this transformation energy spirit. Why is this transformation energy here? Five of cups and three of wands. Yeah, and look, the nine of swords at the bottom with the world again. This person, I feel they have regrets over the past and want to tell you that they've changed. You know, I wasn't ready for what we had or I was immature. I didn't know what I was doing. Um, I will wait however long I need to wait for you. That kind of energy. Now, of course, it's not to say that you have to take them back or anything like that. This is just the energy that's showing up. You or this other person, this is the energy that is being shown or that you can expect to, you know, take place. Now, this is for a Libra that has a history with a person already because they're showing up here. Their energy is showing up. Uh, thank you so much for watching, Libra. Like the video if you enjoyed the reading. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.